Good day everyone! I'm Teacher Lisa and I will be your live streaming teacher for TLA 6 today. Today, we will discuss and identify the appropriate tools and equipment in plant propagation and their uses. Our code is TLE6 AG-0D-5. At the end of the session, you should be able to first identify the appropriate tools and equipment used in plant propagation. Second, describe the appropriate tools and equipment used in plant propagation. And third, value the importance of using tools and equipment used in plant propagation in a responsible manner. Let us open and study the content of our modules. Join me in discovering the things a child like you should know. Yes, that's you. Smile nga dyan. We have a very interesting lesson in this module. But before we start, let us find out what you have learned in the previous lesson. Looking back, are you familiar with the game show Celebrity Bluff? I'm sure you are. In our activity, you will use the words fact or bluff in answering. Type your answer in the comment box. Number 1. Deep flowing of lime and fertilizer is important in fruit bearing tree. Is it a fact or a bluff? The answer is fact. Check. Number 2. Layout design helps in eliminating potential problems in planting fruit-bearing trees. Is it a fact or a block? The answer is fact. Check. Number 3. Use of inorganic fertilizer is more advisable rather than organic fertilizer. Is it a fact or a block? The answer is love. Okay. Number four. Distance between trees is not important as long as there is enough space for other plants to grow. It is a fact or a block. The answer is fact. Okay. Number five. In applying line, Phosphorus and other fertilizer, nutrients should be given according to the number of trees planted. Is it a fact or a block? The answer is block. Check. Good job, children. After you have learned about the layout design for orchard garden, the next necessary thing to know is to identify the tools and equipment used in plant propagation. Let me give you a brief introduction. Planting fruit-bearing trees is enjoyable and interesting activity. It is important to know how to use the different tools and equipment in planting to make tasks easier and faster. Having the right tools maintain a healthy and attractive garden. The following are some of the tools and equipment used in planting trees. First is the hoe, a tool used in digging and loosening hard and dry soil. It has a thin blade across the end of a long handle. Next is rake, a long handle tool having a bar at one end with teeth in it. It is used for smoothening the soil and gathering loose leaves, hay, or straw. Next is trowel, a tool with curved blade used for loosening ground and taking up small plants. Next is axe, a tool with a flat, sharp blade fastened to the handle and used for cutting trunk of trees and their branches. Next is crowbar, a straight heavy iron bar 
pointed at one end about 4 feet in length, used for digging holes. Next is bolo, a tool with a wooden or metal handle from which a long blade is attached. It is used for cutting tall grasses and branches of trees. Next is shovel, a tool with a broad or scoop attached to handle. It is used to dig, lift, and throw loose matter. Next is fork, a tool resembling a table fork but much bigger in size. It is used in digging and preparing the soil for the plants. Next is water sprinkler. A can with a spout to sprinkle water on the plants. Plants should be watered every day to make them grow healthier. And last is the hose. Used for watering seedlings arranged in mass. Let us watch this video presentation on how to make garden tool like trowel using plastic bottle. Did you enjoy the video presentation? You may now use these DIY garden tools in planting. Let us see how much knowledge you have gained in our lesson. For our first activity, tools and equipment puzzle. Directions, read each clue, type your answer in the comment box. Number two, down. Used in digging and loosening hard and dry soil. The answer is hold. Number three, down. Heavy iron bar pointed at one end about four feet in length. The answer is crowbar. Number six, down. Used for cutting tall grasses and branches of tree. The answer is ball. Number one, across. Used to dig, lift, and throw loose matter. The answer is shovel. Number 
for across use for smoothing the soil the answer is great number five across used for loosening ground and taking up small plants the answer is thrower good job children for our next activity guessing game directions identify the tool described use the hidden pictures in the box as your guide for the correct answer type your answer in the comment box. A tool with a flat, sharp blade fastened to the handle and used for cutting of chunks of the trees and their branches. The answer is axe. It is used in digging and preparing the soil for the plants. The answer is four. A can with a spout to sprinkle water on the plants. The answer is water sprinkler. Good job, children. You really learned a lot. Next, use for watering seedlings arranged in mass. The answer is hose. Always remember, planting is a great hobby. We get many benefits for planting, such as beautifying the environment and being able to provide fresh air and food. But planting will not be successful if we do not use the right planting materials such as hoe, rake, trowel, axe, crowbar, bolo, shovel, fork, and water sprinkler. Always remember that it is important to take care and store in the right place the tools and equipment so that we use it for a long period of time. Now, we can proceed with our question and answer portion. Our question is from... Malinta Elementary School, a girl named Abby. Her question is, How can I clean and care for my garden tools? A very good question, Abby. Though tool care may seem like a tall task, after a hard day of work, whether that work was done in the office or out in the yard, taking care of your garden tools will help your tools last a lot longer which will save you money on replacements in the long run first you have to gather all of your tools together in the same location then prepare a bucket of warm water and grab a stiff bristle brush use the brush to knock loose the dirt and soil that has built up on the surface of your tools you should be able to get off a large majority of it with no problem. Once you have a good portion of the dirt removed with a brush, scrub off the rest with the warm water and a bit of elbow grease. Then, rinse them off, let them dry naturally, or dry them off with a towel or paper towels. Those tips will really help you a lot in taking care of your garden tools. Alright, I know there's a lot of questions in your mind that you want to ask. Your TLE teacher will answer those questions during your follow-up discussions. So, don't miss your class. For your homework, 
read and answer what I know and what's new on page 13 of your self-learning module. Acknowledgement to the following development team, writers, editors, reviewers, illustrators, and to the management team. Special thanks to moderator Mr. Chris J. Han M. Kalisin and IT coordinator Mr. Mark Joseph C. Soto. I am very glad because you have completed our activities. Again, I am Teacher Lisa, your live streaming teacher in Technology and Livelihood Education 6, leaving you with this statement, if you want to be happy for a lifetime, be a gardener. Stay safe. Goodbye.